In a major breakthrough against deadly malaria, the World Health Organization has for the first time recommended the widespread use of a vaccine against the infection. The common mosquito-borne disease claims more than 400,000 lives a year. And according to the WHO, a child dies of malaria every two minutes. The vaccine has already been administered to nearly 800,000 children in Ghana, Kenya and Malawi as part of a pilot program over the last two years. This vaccine is a gift to the world, but its value will be felt most in Africa. The World Health Organization on Wednesday recommended the first approved vaccine for malaria should be widely given to African children, potentially marking a major advance against a deadly disease. Using this vaccine in addition to existing tools to prevent malaria could save tens of thousands of young lives each year. The WHO estimates malaria killed 386,000 Africans in 2019. 2.3 million doses of the vaccine Muskirix, developed by British drug maker GlaxoSmithKline, have been given to infants in Ghana, Kenya and Malawi since 2019 in a large-scale pilot program. That program followed a decade of clinical trials in seven African countries. The WHO says 94 percent of malaria cases and deaths occur in Africa, a continent of 1.3 billion people. The preventable disease is caused by parasites transmitted to people by the bites of infected mosquitoes. The vaccine's effectiveness at preventing severe cases of malaria in children is only around 30 percent, but so far it is the only approved vaccine. Another vaccine against malaria developed by scientists at Britain's University of Oxford showed up to 77 percent efficacy in a recent study, but it is still in the trial stages. Experts say the challenge now will be finding funding for production and distribution of the vaccine to some of the world's poorest countries.